How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. All right, so today we are going to be checking out a video from the channel Bicycle Dutch. Um, it's a this particular video is about a little place in Carmel, which is in Indiana, um, in America. For those of you who do not know, I live in Indiana, and Carmel is about an hour um, south of here. So. This is something, uh, once we get some bikes, we are planning on visiting and uh, recording as well to, to show you guys. But Carmel, their in inspiration from, if I could talk today, from the Netherlands. Um, they uh, have like a lot of bike lanes and a lot of roundabouts and uh, pretty much gets their model, their for their town um from the dutch so we're gonna be checking out that today um and i will put the link and the channel name in the description down below in case you like this video you can check it out sometimes i like to study inspiring places outside the netherlands carmel indiana is not your average midwestern small city with a population of just under 100,000, the city can be found directly north of indianapolis and is effectively a suburb. Carmel is home to Mr. American Fietzer, whose guest me and my partner were. From 1995 to January 2024, this city has been led by the same mayor, Mayor James Brainard. Okay, instantly I realized that there are bikes and cars um, in the same lane. Is, is that a normal thing in the Nether Netherlands? Um, and then also, just at the beginning of this video, I've seen that there was two bikes crossing the street, but there was a car coming. It looked like they were about to hit them, but the car did slow down. That's not a thing in in America. Um, pedestrians are second, and it really sucks. Sometimes it really sucks riding a bike um, because you will have to wait for traffic, and sometimes... It gets pretty tedious, sure. Who is described as a moderate Republican and whom we happened to run into in downtown Carmel. After a study trip to the UK in the 1990s, Brainart was inspired by roundabouts. The first was constructed in 1996 and the following year saw the construction of another two. Currently, the city boasts over 150, more than any other city in the United States. Holy the moly. The roundabouts have been credited with a reduction of carbon. The roundabouts really wasn't like a huge thing. It is getting really, really popular. Um, and in fact, we do have like different kinds of roundabouts, which I've never seen a roundabout that has actual stop signs like in the middle. But they do. And it's very, very strange. Charlie and I, we were in, I think, Illinois. Or Illinois. Um, and they had those. And it was really scary because we could have gotten a wreck because we had no idea if there were even roundabouts like that. So, pretty crazy. Carbon emissions, intersection collisions, and even fatalities. They may not be common in the US, but of course, for us Europeans, they were very familiar. Obviously, there can always be improvements. Multi lane roundabouts don't mesh well with level crossings for walking and cycling. But the roundabouts were generally easy to navigate, both on a bicycle and in a car. The backbone of the cycling infrastructure in Carmel is certainly the Monon Trail. The Monon Railway came to Carmel in the 1870s, but closed in 1974. A section of a little over 8 kilometers of the former railway was turned into a 3.7 meter wide asphalt cycle track. In Wait, is this connected to the... Delphi? Wow. So I did not know this was like connected to the the Monin the Monin High Bridge, which is in Delphi, which is a whole different thing. Charlie and I've been down there, we've gotten footage. He's crossed the bridge. But uh in 2017 these two girls got murdered. Um and it was extremely bizarre case. Like they after the killing, they set up the girls in a really creepy way and, like, 
I don't know. A lot of stuff. And they're actually still going through that case. But it is very sad. But yeah, uh, this is connected. Small world. 2002. That immediately sparked visions with some people to redevelop the former industrial areas alongside that new trail. The city brought in urban design consultant Jan Gale from Denmark and city planner Jeff Speck and other landscape architects and engineers to work on the redevelopment. Speck had the splendid idea to make the trail the center of the redevelopment, literally as the median of a new boulevard. The first part... One of the things that we're going to be excited about when we go to the Netherlands is actually just being able to bike anywhere you need to go instead of having to get in a car. Um, And it gets so expensive, too, just having to drive to short distances and stuff. Yeah, that's... They cannot wait. This looks really fun. They actually had three roads, one for driving, one for... Well, both of them look for looked like bicycle and walking, but that is very, very cool. In the heart of Carmel, just south of Main Street, was opened in July 2019. The award-winning six-block Midtown Plaza development required an investment of $23 million, but that has led to $175 million of private sector redevelopment in the area. The asphalt path was turned into an almost 43 meters wide multimodal boulevard for bicyclists and pedestrians. The boulevard wow. is surrounded by low-speed vehicular lanes with curbside parking, tree-lined sidewalks, cycle tracks and expanded outdoor retail and dining. Additional amenities include green spaces, biking and hiking trails, lounge areas, a spray plaza, game courts, shade structures and designated Jeez. food kiosks and cafes. Oh, and let's not forget an indoor bicycle parking with double layer racks, free tools and free water. This placemaking project can serve as a model of how an industrial corridor can evolve into a destination with social, environmental and economic benefits essential to a community's urban areas tax money well spent. And it is not just one street. In other parts of the city, you can also see a denser building style with shops, restaurants and housing on the upper floors that makes the streetscape very attractive. Thanks to the festivities surrounding the 2024 eclipse, on a Monday, we could witness firsthand how well the city centre of Carmel serves its citizens. So many people came to the centre to witness wow. the total eclipse, because Carmel was directly in the totality zone. This city can, or maybe should, serve as an example that creating a livable environment with a less prominent place for the car does not have to be political. People with all kinds of political beliefs can enjoy a livable city with top quality amenities so close that you can cycle to them. Large parts of the city are it. still under development and it would be nice when more cycleways would be connected even better. But it was already a great pleasure to cycle and just be in Carmel, Indiana. I've actually never have experienced like, like that. This video is supported by Brilliant. To even, I actually, when we get bikes, we're gonna go to Carmel. Hey babe. All right, guys, so that was that. That was Bicycle Dutch. Sometimes Again, I like... Again, I will put the link and stuff in the description down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.